Welcome back to Candy's Art World. I'm Candy and today I'm going to be working on a dove. I painted this for my friend whose son was going to have surgery and wanted to be able to bring her a little piece and doves symbolize peace and, and love. So um, I drew out some branches and leaves um, in the dove. And then I used um, liquid masking fluid to um, to block those parts off to do a nice uh, fuzzy background. It's blues, grays, and um, browns on the background. Um, I used a wet on wet technique with my Jane Davenport um, neutrals palette. Um, I kind of wanted just a like a wash of color with a little bit of texture in the back but not a whole lot I didn't want it to take away from from the foreground I used a little paintbrush to put the liquid masking fluid down. And if you're using liquid masking fluid after you lay it down, you have to just walk away and let it dry before you start in on any painting or whatever because that has to have time to set up and dry to protect the area underneath. And I'm wetting the paper. You want to wet it to where it's got a gloss to the paper, but it doesn't have any pools of water. And then after you lay your watercolor background down, you want to let it dry again before you lift your um, masking fluid off. And I use a rubber cement eraser. It helps lift it really easily without damaging the paper. I used um, reds, oranges, and browns for the the uh, branches and the leaves. I had found a photo on Pixabay, so I kind of went off of that. But I'd lay down color and then I'd lift it with a paper towel to try and get variations of the color. And I used um, gray watercolor on the dove for the, it's a white bird, but it's got um, shadows and stuff because it's three dimensional. Um, but I just did the shadows with watercolor. <clears throat> and then I went in with, um, with my Prismacolor color pencils to help smooth out that gray 
into into nicer transitions but I had to wait until the watercolor was dry on the bird because if it's wet and you go in with the pencil you're gonna damage the tooth of your paper but it wasn't a whole lot of paint I used on there um, so it dries pretty much the whole, whole way dry while I was doing some touch-ups on the leaves and branches I used um, yellows and oranges on its little feet and, and um, beak and white to help smooth out the the shadows on the bird oh and black for his little eye a little bit of peach too on some of the shadowy areas And then I used um, odorless mineral spirits to blend out the color pencil and it didn't um, reactivate the watercolor or anything like that. It's, it's kind of cool to try and mix um, different mediums in, in a piece. And some, some mediums you get have better control than others and color pencils have better control than watercolor does. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Have a great day!